Hello and welcome to this VBA for Excel intermediate tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going through an introduction to creating user defined functions or UDFs in Excel. So, what exactly is a UDF? Anyone with even the most limited exposure to Excel would have used one of the built in functions in Excel. So, for example, if I was to go over to column A here and type in some numbers, I could use the built-in count function to count the number of numbers that I just entered. But what happens when we need to do something that isn't covered by one of these built-in functions? For example, if I only wanted to count the number of unique numbers in this range here, well I could try and create some kind of combination of different formulas to get the result that I want. So I could do equals 1 over count if and then our range and the criteria copy that down and then sum that which will give us the number of unique numbers within this range but often it is easier to create your own function in VBA especially if people who aren't particularly Excel savvy will be using the workbook and that's what I'm going to be going through today so to get started, let's open up the VBA editor by pressing Alt and F11 and insert a new module into our workbook. Usually, when creating a macro, you would start with the sub statement and then the name of our macro. But as we're creating a function and not a macro, we need to start with function and then the name of our function. I'm going to call this count unique and then we need to end with a set of brackets. Within these brackets here, we can enter any arguments that would need to be supplied by the user when using this function. If we go back to our Excel workbook, you can see from the count function that we used earlier that it has one argument, the range that needs to be counted. But some functions, such as the sumIf function, have multiple arguments that need to be entered. For this count unique function, I'm only going to need a range. So within these brackets, I'm just going to type in range. But you could call it anything that you want. Now we need to write the code that works out the number of unique values in the range. I'm going to build this function very similarly to how I worked out the number of unique values previously using built in functions. The first thing that we need to do is loop through each cell in the range using a for each loop. So, I'm going to type in for each cell in range. This range here is being picked up by the range that we pass through to our function up here. If we had called this cells, for example, then we would have entered cells down here. Similarly, this cell here could be called anything that you want. We just need to stay consistent when referencing back to it. What this here is saying is, go to our range and set cell to be equal to the first cell in that range. When you get to this next cell statement, go back to our range and get the next cell and keep doing this until you've looped through all the cells in the range. Okay, so now we're looping through each cell, we just need to add up the unique values. To do this, I'm going to use the count if function like I did previously. VBA doesn't have a built in count if function, but we can use the Excel version of the function by typing in application dot worksheet function dot count if. You can see here that the arguments of the count if function are exactly the same as the arguments that we would need to enter if we were using the function within Excel. The first thing that we need to do is enter a range, which will be the range that we pass through to our function earlier. So I'm just going to type in range. Then we need to enter the value to be counted, which would be the value of the cell that is being looped through in our range. So I'm just going to type in cell value. So this here tells us 
How many times the value in our current cell appears in our range? But we don't want this. We want 1 over this so that we can get the value of the unique numbers in the range. And now I'm just going to store this in a variable by typing in unique equals what we just entered here. Now we need some way of keeping a running total as this value here will be overwritten each time a cell in our range is looped through. So down here I'm going to type in running total equals running total plus the value in unique. Finally once all the cells have been looped through we need to pass the result back to our function. To do this, we need to type in the name of our function, which is count unique, and then the value that we want to pass back, which is the value in running total. So let's go back to our workbook and test this. As you can see, as I begin to type in count, our count unique function that we just created it appears in the list of functions. And if I select the range, you can see that it does indeed count the number of unique values in our range. If I were to get rid of these threes, you can see that it does update. That's all I wanted to go through in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and check back for some more tutorials from VBA for Excel.